Quest Love is yes, now yes, joining yes. us. <laughs> now, now, I saw earlier you and Jamie had a little moment. What yeah. were you and Jamie Lee Curtis talking about? Um, I've seen everything, everywhere, all at once. Like, I'm not lying, maybe 15 times this year alone. It's probably one of the most transformative movies I've ever seen. Wow. And it speaks to all of us, like, recognizing who we are in our inner light and that stuff. So um, I guess I crept into our DMs, and now I think I think we have a—I think we're BFFs now. So oh, it's, a nice, it's a nicer night. No, no, I mean, tonight's everyone's night, but, you know, I'm especially happy for her. I love that. I feel the same way about that film. I could talk all day about that film, but oh, let's talk absolutely. about you, oh. Oscar Award winning I forgot that part. filmmaker. I forgot Quest about Love. that part. <laughs> How has your life changed in the year since you've become an Oscar Award winning filmmaker? Um, you know, I mean, it's been highs and lows, but more than that, it's, it's one day at a time. And, you know, I think the most important lesson to learn, oftentimes when people get this sort of, uh, in this position, they change from being, they go into it as creatives, and then once they win, they're just obsessed with succeeding. Mm. And for me, it's more important to still be in the mind state that I was in before the Oscars, which is, I'm still a creative. And so, you know, it, I, I've been taking my time, figuring out my next move. I'm working on the Sly and the Family Stone documentary right now. I know, and tell us, what can you tease about that? That's, I'm just so excited um, about that. The, the, the quickest way that I can put it is I'm, it's going to be the story of Sly and the Family Stone, but it's really about uh, mental health and black people's relationship with the reluctance to get mm. mental health. Mm. And not from Sly's end, but just like, why do we self-sabotage? Why do we... I'm going to answer a lot of questions. I'm going to try to answer a lot of questions. Can I tell you, um, I interviewed Dr. Joy DeGruy, who coined the term post-traumatic slave syndrome and on my podcast. And she said, after we were emancipated as black folks in this country, where was the mental health? Could you imagine being enslaved for, like, and the epigenetic piece of it? But she's not, she's, for her, it's behavioral. Where was the mental health after um, emancipation? It, that's that's ex we are just starting that conversation post pandemic so I want to continue that with this documentary so that's I love it I love it Quest love everybody Oscar award winner